Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We're doing frequent Hermitcraft episodes this week. Dudes, uh, I hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic. Today I'm in such a build mode. I've got an idea. I think I said this last episode when we blew up the bedrock, and uh, I've just. I've just. Ooh, some end rods. Let me borrow. How do I make end rods? I actually don't know. End rod. Oh, why is there no. Hmm, eh, there's no recipe. Can I. If I pick this up, <laughs> will I see the recipe? Nah, let's, let's just borrow these for now. We're gonna craft up a crap ton of those. Yeah, uh, I've got such an idea. Last episode when we were blowing, blowing out the bedrock, I got an idea that I just wanted to do immediately, but then I had uh, decided that I was gonna do the gold farm, so I did the gold farm first. But today, oh, today we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try something, that was my dog, by the way, in the background, having fun. I don't know what she's doing, but, but anyway, yeah. Um, we're gonna go back to the nether in our under base, and I'm gonna show you, or we're gonna, we're gonna try some things out. I do need a flint and steel, though, because to begin with, I wanna try out something else. Now, dudes, uh, of course, what's an Iskal video without, without the, uh, like painting of doom, so if you guys are still enjoying Hermitcraft, Make sure to show me some love down below and hit the like button on the video. I don't have anything that I need. Where? Hold on. I need to find a flint. We can do this. Boom. And yes. Very good. Okay. I need a flint and steel. I want to, to start off the episode, we're going we're gonna to do a, uh, a portal test here where we dug out the bedrock because that's going to be very, very, very important. Now, dudes, uh, I understand if you guys want me to work on the nether hub. Uh, but this is a backlog episode. I'm unfortunately going away for a week, uh, and I have to uh, have to do some some uh, some episodes for when when I'm gone for you guys. And uh, last time I worked on the Nether Hub, Tango accidentally spoiled it. Not that I have I had forgot to say that I had built there. So uh, that episode was like it took me like ten hours. So it's always boring or sad in my opinion when things get spoiled. And uh, I don't want to restrict people from from being in the Nether. So uh, yeah, we're gonna hold off with that until I'm back next week. Then we're gonna go back to it. But anyway, first things first, I suppose. Let's have a look at this thing here. This is the gold farm. I did an AFK session of three hours when I was finished with the last episode. And yeah, I ran out of coal. And when you run out of coal, all the uh, all the swords and stuff end up in this chest here. But uh, if, we, if we don't look at the swords, I got this much gold for three hours, which is very fine, and also 98 levels. I was at zero levels when I began it, so this thing is definitely working, fully AFK able. The reason I didn't get more was because the server reset. I was gonna do like an eight hour session, but, but anyway. Uh, so, that's a little bit of a follow up on that thing there. Now dudes, uh, let's start with trying out this portal thing. If I'm understanding how this works correctly, we should be able to put a portal uh, here, the bottom part of the portal on the bedrock frame, and the rest of the portal above it. And I think we're going to be able to com come back through this portal. Uh, if you didn't know, if you put another portal on top of the uh, on top of the bedrock, uh, you can't teleport back to it. Like you will be taken to another portal underneath it. Uh, but I think if you do this, this kind of tricks the game uh, because this is at bedrock level. We may have to lower it one more, but we'll, we'll try this out and see what happens. Okay, so that took us here. Uh, no freaking clue why, we, why we're in a deep ocean underneath my base. That feels a little bit wrong. But let's try and go, <laughs> let's try and go back. I, th I would think that we would end up in the gas one, but we didn't. Oh, okay, so now we ended up here. That's not good. That's not a good test. That's not a successful test. Maybe uh, let's break this guy. Why am I on fire also? Is that bug still there? There is a bug where if there would have been a fire where the nether portal is originally originally placed down, then you get uh, set on fire. Uh, let me go back up there, check the courts, and then I'm going to link this properly. So I'll go to the overworld and put down a portal where this portal is, is in the overworld. Wow, so that Sky Island uh, portal is right over here. Or Sky Island, what am I saying? That top of the nether roof portal is right here. Even though in the nether it feels so close to the gas, and I can't even see it here. It doesn't even render in. I think I have this set wrong, though. Uh, and I think I have something wrong with my Minecraft, because that's definitely not 12 chunks. 
But yeah, that's strange. So what I want to do then is let's try and get up to 128, which is where that portal is. And let's build a portal up here and see if they link up and if I can go back and forth. If I can, we can eventually do a build out here to take us uh, uh, to the top of the nether in addition to uh, that portal that we have in the ghast phase. Something like that. And then let's just carpet it up for now. And I have my flint and steel. Good. Okay, so hopefully we get through to the portal on top of the nether. Otherwise, we have to lower it. Uh, no. Now we get through to Ren's portal, because that makes sense. I did break my portal. Okay, so what that tells me, if we... Uh, ooh, I was afraid I didn't have my light drawn there. If we now go up here and go through this portal, we'll probably end up at that portal, because it's correctly linked, like it's perfectly linked. But uh, let's try and drop this down one. All right, let's try it out. So we should get to that uh, to on top of uh, on top of our plastic. Yes, okay, that's that's that that's how it should be. And now is the big question: Do I pop out through that same portal or down at Rens again? I'm out here, nice. So we can actually build a portal that takes us to the top of the Nether. Oh, that's so good to know. Okay. And I'll probably have to break some more bedrock here later on, though. But that works. I'm so happy about that. We, you could easily, we could easily like fill in this stuff later on. I do want to be able to get up here now, though. But uh, yeah, we could easily fill in this and then break some bedrock, make like a proper stairway. It's gonna be nice. Okay. Anyway, so like I said, I am in sort of a building mode today. So let's get into building. I gotta get to my ender chest first, though. Uh, I want to present to you an idea that I have for a build. When I built the nether hub, uh, or started, when I dug out the nether hub, I got a crap ton of quartz. Boom. And I look back at my Minecraft days. I've played this game for over seven years. And I've never, ever built a, an epic or big build using quartz. What is it that I need here, actually? I, I'll bring the whole thing. Um, yeah, I've never, ever built a big build using nether quartz, which is amazing. That's so fantastic that I haven't done that. I know that I don't really like nether quartz very much. I don't think it's the so beautiful, as beautiful as everybody say, but that's probably just because I'm an idiot and can't use it. So, so, uh, let me go and get the quartz that I, uh, that I got during the dig of the nether hub and let's try and work out a block chart and then I'll, pre I'll give you guys or I'll tell you guys the idea that I'm having for this place. It's going to be epic dudes. Alright dude, so I've collected up some of the blocks that I want to try and use for the under base, the underworld base. Let's take this, this garbage pillar down that I had here, if I can. Very fine. Alright. Uh, so, I'm very curious, like very, very curious to, to try out something completely new. Let's put some lights down here. And let's start testing out things. Usually I would do this uh, on my own in a single player world. But I really like the idea of doing this together with you guys. And you guys will have to let me know if, if you think this is boring. Or if you like these sort of things. Um, but as you can see we got a crap ton of quartz. Which is probably going to... We're, we're going to run out of <laughs> super quickly. But this is from digging out the nether hub. The quartz that I got. And then we... Ren got some, uh, some quartz. And uh, Stress got some quartz as well. Um... And then I also picked up some white concrete, some white concrete powder, some white wool, and some glass. Let's try some stuff out, just to get a block chart up. Um, first of all, we have our quartz block, which has that little yellowish tint to it. At least in my head, it looks like there's a yellow tint to it. Can I do that? And that will give us even more light? Yeah, a little bit. It has like a yellowish uh, uh, tint if you look closely. Maybe that's just my eyes. Then we have the white concrete, which is a completely washed out white. It's more towards the blue than uh, anything else, I think. Boom. Like that. So they, they are not perfect together, just like that. But I do see one thing that we can do with them. Uh, we With quartz, the, the good thing with quartz, did I bring... You know what I forgot? A freaking crafting table. Uh, do I have... No. I don't have anything there. Crap! And... Crafting table, boom. The good thing with quartz, what I was going to say was, we have the stairs, and we even have, like, pillar blocks that I don't even remember how to make. Uh, it's like that. No, I have no freaking clue. I know that you can make something with the, sl with the slabs. 
Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, you know what? In Minecraft, there's this thing there. <laughs> so we have the pillar blocks as well in quartz, which, uh, again, like, I have never built anything with quartz. So I think this is going to be such a fun challenge for me. Uh, and then... I also, what else? We have the white glass, and this is going to be important. Much like how we use glass to create that fog effect and to create the demon, the demon flames. I now want to try and create something more heavenly and, and like, uh, less, less evil if I can. I know that will be a challenge because I'm, I'm a very evil person. No, I'm just kidding. Let's make some uh, white stained glass. Boom, like so. So we, we, we can use glass to create effects. So if I put some white glass... Oh yes, okay, okay. And we have the full white glass. Very white so far. Let's try and mix in some color into this build. That's the wrong one. Let's try and mix in some color. Did I bring... I brought some netherrack for this project. I brought some, some colors here as well. Um, light blue is the one that comes immediately to mind. Oh, oh baby. Okay, that looks so fantastic with those things. Oh, that looks really good with those colors. Also yellow. Yellow for gold, because this is a gold farm eventually, uh, essentially, or it started out as a gold farm, and it's going to be the underbase. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Yes, okay. Let me try uh, gold wool, or yellow wool. I did bring that, yeah. Oh, that's so good. I love this color change in Minecraft. It allows me to build so many things that I've thought about in the past. That's a block palette right there, dudes. And I mean, uh, we gotta be a little bit creative because we're in the nether and maybe we want to use some water features or something. So, and we can't because, uh, yeah, we're in the nether. So, so, I had an idea. We could always, again, with the power of glass, create an illusion of, of water using light blue. And maybe mixing in some fog effects and stuff into that. Oh, oh, it's a Swedish build, by the way. Very Swedish build. So with the block chart idea out of the out of the way, I think I'm happy with this. Let's try and and put these blocks together and see what we can create. And I, I'm just gonna try some stuff here that I saw whilst putting up the block chart. And let's do that over here. Let me put down a torch and a torch, make it a little bit brighter for everybody. Boom. Um, I saw one quick thing. If we use this white concrete and then use the uh, the quartz as our trim block or frame block. I think that will create a very good effect. And we will save on quartz as well, so we won't have to fill full walls with this very expensive block. Yes, that's that's definitely a way to use those two together. And then what happens if we further and uh, use the glass effect to maybe in some places use... And I'm not saying flames like we did in the, <laughs> in the, uh, in the nether hub. I'm saying... White divine smoke effects. No freaking clue what that was, but uh, yeah, that can definitely work on that layer. The yellow would probably be our trim block, meaning the block that pops, that makes the build plop, pop, plop, pop. <laughs> and I think we, we gotta make sure in this build we have some objectives as well. We gotta make sure that it's beautiful. We gotta make sure that it's unique and new, and we gotta make sure that there are no mob spawns. And we're no longer in a mushroom island, so we gotta be clever with how we do things. We're gonna use a lot of carpets, I'm sure. Um, but that's okay, because the yellow carpet looks like gold. It looks fantastic. Speaking about gold, can we mix in some actual gold into this? Or is that yellow just too, too far away? Let me try make one of those, and one of those, and boom. Can we mix this in somehow? Yeah, yeah, definitely that that yellow is not too bad, not too bad at all. Together with the uh, with the wool color, boom, boom. It may go a little bit off here. No, no, that's fine. That's good. So we have different variations of our of our trim block. That's going to be important. So I think this here would be like a pathway with quartz in the middle. And remember, quartz we can always use half slabs to skip the mobs from spawning. Oh, this is going to be fantastic, dudes. And the blue will probably use maybe as a ceiling thing if we need a ceiling of some sort. Not sure if we'll use the blue. We'll see. Or maybe, maybe the blue could be the uh, behind the background color. Let me try and put one there. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, maybe the blue is like the deep color in this. So, yellow is trim. That, mean, that means everything that pops. White is the general color with this being the, the frame 
white and this being the background white probably I'll have to think about that a little bit because we do limit ourselves a little bit with all the different quartz variations when we have this as the background um, so now I'm happy with this the next thing I want to do <laughs> The next stage to this, phase number three, as my good friend Mumbo says, is let's actually try and build something. And I have no clue what I want to build. Or I have an idea, but I have no, like, straight a straight idea for what I want to do. Uh, one thing that I know that I want to do, though, is I want to go up in the sky. And I think I'm going to keep myself close to this, uh, to this stuff here. So, hmm, should we position this completely... With the in line with the gold farm, that's probably a wise idea. So that would be here, and that's also in the center of that thing. I'm gonna come up quite a bit here, and hmm, 256 is the build limit. We do definitely want the build to start way before the build limit. So maybe here, 155. It's a good, good random, <laughs> good random number. Now I'm gonna try and create a floating white spire thing. Something uh, uh, fantasy-like, not necessarily a full a full cylinder or anything like that. And you dudes know me, I'm trying to go as random as I can with with the creation of the uh, of the expansion of this thing. I'm basically bi I'm building an ice cream cone up uh, uh, up in the sky. Oh please don't forever forever see this as an ice cream cone. Oh my goodness, what have I done, Eskal? You stupid idiot. This is kind of a little bit like when I built the uh, Escalium Crystal, I suppose. But I want this to be much bigger. And this is only the bottom of this thing that we're going to build. Which, again, <laughs> I have no clue what we are going to build. I just I just know that I want to build something in midair. And I want to build something impressive. And I want to use the colors that we do, that we picked out. Let's have a look at this. How are we liking it? Um... Yeah, that's not a bad start. It's not a bad start. It looks a little bit like a snow cone thing hanging down, which is not what I'm trying to create. But that's not a bad start at all. I quite like that. That's the white concrete background. I think I got a base shape to this weird thing. Ice cream cone thing that I'm happy with. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it needs some definement there. It looks very flat and a little bit bad, but... As a general start, yeah, that ain't too bad. That that's terrible right there. Okay, yeah, I need to do some work. On, I need to do some work on the sides, but um, let's not focus on that right now because I don't have any more white concrete. So I want to try something here. Uh, adding a yellow, sticking to the block chart, chart, of course. Adding a yellow line, making this whole thing expand. And I want to see if that's possible. I'm not... Hmm, now, that's not going to be possible. Let's just add a yellow line like this. And the idea of this is, of course, white and white and yellow makes any build feel very royal in my head. It makes it feel very divine, very, like, fantasy uh, gorgi, if that, if that makes sense. Okay, let's have a look at how a circle of yellow would look around there. Oh, that color is perfect. Oh, oh, that's good. I think we're getting a base of what I want to do. That is a very, 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 very good look. With that yellow there in the distance. I like it. Let me try to add a light source. We didn't actually uh, think about the end rods when we did our block chart. But they would be our they would be our light sources. They have a cool particle. And they are uh, white. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. I think we're going... We're getting somewhere here, dudes. Uh... We still haven't used a single piece <laughs> piece of quartz, by the way. I keep keep uh, I keep stay holding away from it. But that would be our first trim design. Maybe we would bring this down as well. Maybe we would have. Oh yes. Okay, I have an idea. Hold on. If I go down here. Oh uh, no! I didn't want to fall down. Crap. Why do I keep putting my Why do I keep putting my rockets out of my inventory? I don't get myself. If I go down here. Put this guy back right there and bring this down. I did that wrong. Bring. Let's do that. Bring. I pick it. Yeah. Bring that down like that and then do that on all sides but with different heights. I think that's going to add to the uh, making this feel like a, 
a jewelry of some sort that sits on the on the building, which is what I want. I think that was a different height. No, that was the same height. Stupid me. Let's pick this up again. And I don't know if I want to mix the yellow uh, the yellow uh, wool with maybe this block. So actually, we could we could try that up here. Just add one of those. They are very close in color. The one have a texture. The one hasn't got a texture. Try one. Ah, crap. Oh crap. <laughs> That's what I say nowadays. Try one over there. Maybe we want to mix them up just to give it a little bit more texture in the big picture. And we'll do another one of these jewelry things there. And I gotta go down and pick up that Schalke box soon because otherwise I'll lose a whole bunch of quartz and a whole bunch of important stuff. Oh yes, okay, that works. We could maybe potentially even bring it down further. But I think... I think that works. Oh, that makes it look so divine, so heavenly. I like the mixing of the uh, yellow yellow concrete as well. Makes it look uh, more golden, more texturized. I gotta make sure that I don't lose myself here, though. Uh, okay, so how would we continue this? Because now, what I'm seeing, what I'm picturing is now a spire comes, like a, a structured thing. This would be the... Uh, fantasy floating thing and now we need a structure on top of this maybe we go with quartz here we have a pretty good size a five wide cylinder thing maybe i just fill in with quartz on this exact same level as the gold okay we got the quartz up there and i will also want to add some sort of i'm pretty sure at least i, I want to add some sort of uh, arcways maybe going here let's do something like that that's four tall and uh, let's add some quartz stairs to that. If I have them, I do. Do I want to go like that? Or do I want to go down? Let's try this first. Yeah, some arcways uh, and stuff is going to be very important if we go with a straight quartz wall. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Okay. Even with the yellow stuff on the same level or layer, uh, depth layer as this quartz stuff, that kind of works. Obviously, if the yellow sticks out, it's going to be even better. But that's not a bad, that's not a bad start at all. That's not a bad start at all. For a, for a, I'm kind of seeing a, a cloud divine temple hovering above here now. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. After a little bit, bit more of back and forth, I'm sitting with this here. And I'm using my spectator account to show this off so that I don't have to derp around with the rockets or anything like that anymore i'm standing up there look at that handsome fella right there hi me <laughs> anyway dudes um <clears throat> i am running at this point i'm running scaringly low on quartz i think i'm on my last stack of blocks or something like that and so i don't know where to continue or how much more to continue off the uh, of the of the height of this or if we are happy with this height uh because this is only one spire and currently I'm seeing at least two of these that we'd build maybe one over on this side later on and connect them up together. But I think I'm at that point where I really want to start adding some detail into this build. I want to try and have some sort of uh, uh, pattern or structure going on in the quartz because as you can see it's very plain at the moment. This is my first idea for a little bit of detail in, uh, in the side of the uh, tower but... I don't think I like it. I think it looks a little bit too evil, a little bit too uh, edgy, and I would like something a little bit more smooth. What I do like, though, is the mixture and the, the, the gold emblems that this makes, uh, makes it out in the background. It also gives us a very cool shader effect or shadow effect if we look at it from a distance, which is also important. But I think, I think it's a little bit too edgy, a little bit too sharp. Smoothening out the shape slightly made it look like a banana on two angel wings. But at least we have two angel wings, which I think is pretty accurate to what I want to do here. So maybe if I remove the top banana and raise the wings up, we have a shape that I'm happy with. Oh, I like that shadow effect that this gives a gradient of yellow. It looks like shiny gold. After a little bit of fiddling again, I think... I'm happy with that, and I raised the, the the top up a little bit as well, and I added a little trim line using carpets up here, and I think that looks really cool. It's like very settled, very, very, very small. Now, again, I'm planning on adding more detail around this tower as we go along, so I don't think we need to go too far into the 
into the detail of the walls here. I want to do one more thing over there though. I want to add more of this yellow stuff coming down and hanging from the, uh, from this, uh, from this, uh, whatever it is, frame thing. Yeah, I really like that it gives a shadow effect, it gives a cool thing falling down on the next layer of this tower. Now, uh, I still feel a little bit weird about how straight this line is here. In the bigger scale, in the bigger picture, from a distance, that's not as bad. But when we have, uh, we, we can do either one of two things, I think. Either we gotta go back to a more strict uh, version of this, like we have down here, and skip having the... Uh, skip having all of these falling down everywhere, or we could try and add a layer sticking out there. So I want to try that first before I change it back and see what that, uh, what that does. I'm going to use some quartz slabs for this, and I think we'll just go ahead and add these slabs on this layer here. And that's not going to do an awful lot uh, in, if you look directly at this, but if you look at it from an angle, I think it will give a cool effect, hopefully. But we'll take a look. Uh, what this actually does. Yeah, like I thought, if we look straight ahead on it, it doesn't look like much. But looking at it from a different angle, it definitely it definitely solves that issue of these being on the same layers. I think that is good. I think this is going to be very much a, uh, a thing that you either like or dislike, that little layer there. But I think that's really cool. Um, and obviously, we're just doing one face of this tower so far. Um... But I'm starting to get very happy with this. Yeah. I really love the fact that we used that uh, white concrete there. It looks super cool. One more thing I thought about that I want to do in this build is add a beacon piercing through it. So in order to add a beacon through this, of course, we got to do the basics first. We got to make sure that the center is open or is glassed. So all the way down here at the bottom where we started the tower... We're gonna go and punch this away. And this may affect the build slightly in a bad way. I'm not sure. But I think it will look cool after all. Now, in case you didn't know, you can add a beacon in the nether as long as the uh, beacon center is exposed to bedrock uh, at the top. That way, uh, it has sky access and you should be able to add it. Because I want to add this underneath the, uh, underneath the bedrock. I don't want the beacon sitting on top of it, I don't think. So, this here should work. That should be the block, which is the center of our tower. So, I'm just going to add the beacon right over there. I feel like I'm recording this video a little bit... No, 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 no. Whew. I'm out of food, so I'm eating this stupid rotten flesh. I feel like I'm recording this video a little bit weird, like a little bit back and forth. Testing something a little bit different when you do a build thing. Let me know if you, <laughs> let me know if you guys like it or if you think I'm super, uh, super weird today. I don't freaking know. I'm always weird, though, I guess. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. And I may have misplaced it. Oh, look at this. The tower here is not centralized. I see. So maybe all I gotta do is punch that away. Do we get a beacon beam now? Yes! Yes, we do! Oh, nice! Oh, okay. So, so that's... That's not ideal, that means... <laughs> it means that I have a decentralized uh, tower here. <laughs> Stupid me. Okay. Uh, oh, but I like the beacon though. I like the beacon effect. Hold on, let's have a look at that from a distance. Yeah, I like that. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna be central though. But I think I like that. Let me know what you guys think about that. Dudes, I think this is a really good start to something very, very cool here in the nether. Take a look at that from a distance. I still have an ace up my sleeve for this build that I didn't get to do today. That I want to try out. Which I think is going to be a little bit groundbreaking. And look a, a, a very, a very much a cool. But yeah, take a look at that from a distance. Let's turn on the nether fog here. And have a look at what that... What that looks like. Uh, details. Fog. Fancy. Okay. Oh, it looks very mysterious. Very mysterious indeed. I like that. You know what? I just want to take a look at, at shaders in this as well. I think it's too dark at the moment though. We definitely need to have some more end rods hanging down somewhere. Maybe on this thing. I like the fact that this is darker though. Um, yeah, anyway. Let's try shaders as well. 
and I have shaders on, but I think something is not working. That was very strange. Maybe cha maybe shaders doesn't work on top of the nether, at least not the one I have. Okay, well, we'll skip that for today. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think this is a fantastic start to a very cool project. The next... Ouch, that hurts. I don't want to... I don't want to die. Look at my levels, by the way. You guys want me to get to 100? I think I'll leave it at this. I saw a video where someone else did that. You guys know who? And it was very, very, very frustrating. <laughs> but... Pretty funny. Anyway. The next stage to this, I think, will be to... Uh, possibly create some more windows and stuff inside. Uh, in this. I don't know if... Uh, another idea I had was to fill in these windows. Do I have any... I have a little bit of this. Yeah, another idea I had was to not leave these open, but to fill them in, but have it as a background thing. And now I'm kind of curious to see how that looks. Well, kind of boring. Kind of boring, to be honest. So the next stage to this would be to start making bridges that are coming out from, uh, from this tower, and then add another one of these over there. And slowly but surely build a sky city of some sort. Or not sky city, that, that's a, a big, too big undertaking. <laughs> not a sky city, but like a cloud-based heavens on top of the nether. Something like that. Not sure entirely what I want to do. I think though for these paths, I just had a little bit of an idea that I want to share with you guys. Uh, very quickly, because I think we're running short on time for today. Uh, but I think, seeing how well this yellow works, the paths could be something like this. Let's do a little bit more here. Actually, we can't because I'm out of, I'm out of quartz. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Jeez, that went so quick, that quartz. But having, having some sort of, of path system. Oh, wow. Hanging paths that comes out of this is gonna be absolutely epic. Oh, it's looking epic already. Yep, yep. Very happy with this. Anyway, dudes, that's gonna do it for today. We are we are very much in the nether lately, aren't we? Next time we'll probably be here again to do some more nether hobbits because we've got to finish that thing. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button down below. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please do leave them down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, dude. Have a fan-freaking-tastic time zone. And I'll see you in the next episode.